In this video, I want to talk a little bit about writing an outline, specifically an outline for your unit one personal narrative essay. So here we go, writing an outline. This document goes over some of the different kinds of outlines. You can see informal outlines are mentioned, formal outlines, types of formal outlines, and then um, topic outlines, sentence outlines. If you look in the assignment descriptions for what you're going to be doing, You're going to attach a Word document for the outline of your Unit 1 essay. One of the first instructions says follow your instructor's directions on whether to submit a topic outline, a sentence outline, or a graphic outline. So I want a topic outline. Um, that's what I'm looking for. If there are some sentences in it, or if you have, um, or if you prefer to write in full sentences, I actually don't care about either way. It could be a topic outline or a sentence outline. Here's my take on outlines. Outlines are documents that are meant to help you. That's the purpose of them. The whole point of an outline is to help you out as a writer. So however you want to present in terms of writing in full sentences or just writing in topics is fine by me. Sometimes it's easier for me to see when you just focus on topics, but if you need to write sentences, that's okay. I don't want this to be a situation like maybe you faced in high school where your teacher asked you to turn in an outline for your paper at the same time as your paper and you wrote a paper and then did the outline after. That's busy work. The purpose of an outline is to help you and it's also to help me see what you're thinking because when I see an outline, it helps me to understand where you're going with your paper, your ideas and your plan for organization or lack thereof. So that's why we do outlines. You're going to submit an outline. What I want to talk about in this particular video is ways to construct an outline. So what I've included for you in the announcement is honestly a step-by-step -step process. I've got a couple things that I want you to do, and I'm kind of going through those steps right now, honestly. The first step let me just pull up. I'm working on the announcement right now. Post this video in it. The first step is to open the writing and outline web page tab and review it, which I just did. If you're wondering which type of outline I would like you to write, I'm asking for a topic outline. If you have some sentences included, if you want to write it in sentence format, I'm okay with that. Step two, read the outline for unit one personal essay writing assignment details that we just looked over those. I want you to go over them in depth though when you go through these steps. Step three, go back and watch my video linked above if you've skipped ahead to these instructions. So make sure you're watching this video. Step four, revise your thesis based on feedback. Check to make sure that it has both of these required elements, a personal experience that happened to you and a critical thinking skill or characteristic that you either used or didn't use. Those are the basic expectations of this paper. Um, if you don't include one of those elements, your paper's not going to work. Step five, following the sample topic outline in the writing and outline webpage, create your outline. So if we go back to that particular um, writing an outline, there is an actual sample for you right here. I would like you to use the sample topic outline. If you are in an 011 section along with this course, you can stop listening to this video right now because you are going to make your outline in the worksheet that we're doing this week. So you can turn this off and switch over to 011. If you are not, or if you want to stay tuned and see how you can make an outline just from scratch, that's what we're going to do right now. So this is the sample topic outline that we have here. You can see that it's got the Roman numerals. These Roman numerals are gonna be the paragraphs of your paper. This is why I like outlines. I can look at this and I know exactly what the five paragraphs are gonna be about. And I can see what's gonna be in them. I can see the order that they're going in. I can see the thesis statement and make sure everything is related back to this thesis statement. This is a nice organized outline. So what goes across from here? This, these are just the main ideas of each of these paragraphs. Then you have the details inside. 
I made a sample one that you guys can also look at. One of the things that I'd like to tell you right now is if you mess up the formatting of this or you get confused and you're like, should this be a little A or a big A? I don't care as much about that. Or like, should this be a little Roman numeral or a number one? I don't care. It's going to start automatically creating the outline um, for you if you are using something like Word. I think also if you're using Google Docs, it's going to intuit that you're making an outline and it's going to start spacing it accordingly. If it looks a little bit different than this, I don't care. The structure that I'm looking for is the indentation. So I know, okay, this across from the Roman numerals, these are going to be the topics of your paragraphs. That's the main thing I'm looking for. So if you want to see a sample one that I created, I put one in here for you in the learning materials content. Outline example. And here's an example. Everybody is going to have Roman numeral one introduction. And I can actually show you. I'm going to, I'll type this up. This is what I mean about it. It's going to start to do it for you. See how it indented? It knows you're writing, um, it knows you're writing an outline. I'm having some issues this morning. Okay. First thing you're going to put in your introduction, thesis. You are going to workshop your thesis. You're going to cut and paste it in here once you've made sure that you listened to the feedback I gave you and you are clear that you are writing a single sentence into this space that includes your critical thinking characteristic and your personal experience, both of those elements in the thesis statement. So you're going to cut and paste your thesis right there. In my case, I'm just going to say, I looked back on my thing and I saw that I had a typo in it, so I fixed that. It's kind of a pain in the butt to copy from a file like that, so. Oh, it worked though. That's really ugly, so I'm gonna not make it look like that. Show why it's bold. There we go. Okay. There's my thesis. Now I'm going to think about the other things that I want to include in this paper. So I'm going to think, okay, I've got this topic that I want to talk about. I want to tell the story of teaching a new class on Greek mythology. Maybe the first thing I should do is give a little bit of background and explanation. So the first paragraph that I'm planning on writing in my paper is going to explain what my class is. What books do we read? Age group. Um, where teach it? What do we do? And I'm going to go back and I'm going to say, okay, um, because <laughs> you know, outline writing is a process of organization. So I think maybe this is the, le I'm going to put this at the end. Maybe I'll put it right after what we do. No, age group is pretty, we're going to do age group second. You see what I'm doing here? I'm just fiddling around about thinking about the order that the details might need to go in. Oh, this should say age group. Okay. So those are the details that I'm going to include in that paragraph about what my class is. Description. It's going to be a description of my class. You may need a paragraph like this. You may not. So for instance, if your story, your personal experience is about working at a restaurant, you may not need to include background. You may just need to include information a little bit about the story, like set the story up, include the details about like, okay, so it was a Thursday. I was working with X, Y, and Z. My manager was in a bad mood. Whatever we need to know to understand, that would be your first paragraph. If you're writing about something that people might not 
they might need a little more context for, then maybe you'll have some description and some background. For my third paragraph, I'm going to explain, uh, I'm going to talk about I want to explain a couple reasons why I had some doubts about teaching the class. Okay. So some of my doubts about teaching the class and then, um, kids are so young. I was so busy. And here's something that I want everybody to do in their next paragraph. So this is going to be the fourth paragraph of your paper. This is where I want you to make sure that you're identifying your critical thinking skill or characteristic or lack thereof because I want you to make sure you're talking about this in your paper. Um, And you know what? The very first thing that I'm going to do, and I think that this is a really good idea for all of you, is I'm going to define my critical thinking skills so it's really clear for the reader. Okay. These are some of my details. And then it's time for my conclusion. And that's my outline. I'm really curious. I've done this outline like five times, so I'm curious if it looks the same as the one that I posted for you. Um, <laughs> there we go. Yeah, pretty close. So you can see that I've done this a couple times. Basically what you're doing is you're writing out the plan for these five paragraphs that you're going to write that's hopefully going to get you to the two pages, some of the details you want to include. And probably the most helpful thing for me is a chance to look at your topics for each paragraph. What are you going to say in this paragraph? Do the details actually match that? What are you going to say in your second paragraph? And for everybody, let's plan to make your third paragraph focused on your critical thinking skill and how that relates to the personal experience. So that's my advice for you guys when creating, for you all in creating the outline example.